It's April 28th now, and we're warm. I like summer, and I got my sails from Duckworks. 3.8 ounce tan bark Dacron, and are they beautiful? Got them tied on to the yard and the boom. They're all varnished. Yeah, sails. Red sails in the sunset. It had to be. Got my sails all rigged up onto the spars. Got my reef points in, two rows of reef points so I can shorten it down. Using 3 16 nylon. This piece here is a jack line to keep the lazy jacks in next to the yard so the yard doesn't go swinging around. There's where the halyard will lift it. I got an eye on that side. If I've got two of them, I can have two different positions. Stick in the yard. And down on the boom, it's lashed on too. I got a lashing going here that I'll hook the sheet line to. With all those ropes going through there, 3 8 line won't go through that hole. And I have my jiffering reefing. I have a cheek block here, a line going up through there. Coming down to fitting there, with a stopper knot. Found a use for those loops that came with those uh, stainless steel latches. I've got two Jiffy reefing for my two reefs. They run through the cheek blocks here. This cheek block is for the lazy jack. And then the cleats here is the cleat for the first reef cleat for the second reef and a cleat for the lazy jack there, a little bigger one because that'll be quarter inch of line. And I've got a, a block here. Little, uh, the sheet will go through and there's another one that goes down on that other end. And then I have a fair lead here. That'll, Keep it from flopping around while it goes up the front. And then I have my Jiffy reefing lines here. Going through cleat and just going around the yard. And this will, when I go to pick up in my sail, this will pull it down, gather it all up. And then I can tie those reef lines around the boom so I can shorten my sail down and hoist it back up. And then go tie off to the cleats there. So she's uh, ready to, to go up the mast actually. And my mizzen, it's on. And the sprit. This line here is actually called a snotter. It goes through that little fair lead and then down to this cleat and it's what peaks out the end of that sail. So there's my mizzen. So now I need to get the boat out of the shop and, and get the rig set up on it. Got my mast sitting on here and now I'm wondering if this mast is going to hoist it high enough. I used a 14 foot mast rather than a 16 because the plan looked like it would work if I hoist right to the top of it. But I don't know, that mast might not be long enough. I might have to splice in a piece. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. The mast is tall enough, just barely. I'd like to get a little more downhaul. Maybe I can move that downhaul cleat down a little bit. Or just cut the top off of it when the boom swings around to the front. It won't be a problem when I'm reefed, just with full sail. She's going to set a little low. And I knew she would, but i got to see uh, how I can get that top cover on. Maybe I can move those cleats. Everything else is working good. The topping lift works good. I 
The sheet system works okay. Have to take up on the traveler a little bit. And uh, the sheet for the mizzen, that works good. So yeah, I'm about ready to go sailing. This is with the cabins on. So yeah, it's it's low, but it'll work. Maybe with a with it all the way up, I want it a little bit low. It clears everything. Just have to duck it. I'm going to keep down low anyway. Have my driving force down low. I figured it would be like that. But uh, yeah, I think this is. It's going to work pretty good. To take some of the rake out of the mass, I cut a half inch off the back side and added a half inch piece of walnut epoxied with a couple of screws onto the front side. So this should uh, kick it up a little bit, give it a little more height and raise the back of the boom. And also I relocated a cleat here actually I had to saw the other one off and install a new one when I had the deck boards the uh, hatch boards up there I noticed I had an inch and a quarter uh, going by this cleat so the holes are an inch apart so I lowered it one inch I just uh, used the back hole on the old cleat as a front hole on the new cleat and then uh, added the piece of wood in the hole so I just got to sand it and varnish it and this will give me a little better purchase on the down haul and uh, it should make things better and I've got a couple of smaller uh, blocks to go up on the top for my halyard blocks a little bit shorter so that will give me a little more height there and then we'll see how that works this is after all the rigging tweaks. I'll angle the mast a little bit more forward and got smaller blocks on top using 5 16 halyard so I can use smaller blocks. And So she's setting pretty good. I've got about uh, 37, 38 inches of clearance in the back from the floor to the boom. And she's uh, high enough where I can pull her down on the down haul and uh, everything clears, cleats clear the cabin tops so yeah, everything's better there's my down hall so I'm getting my lines trimmed to length and uh, I think now she's ready to go sailing